Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be showing you a DIY on high-waisted shorts that look something like that. So I would recommend going to your local thrift shop or Goodwill and find some high-waisted jeans and it doesn't matter what the bottom looks like because you're just going to be chopping them off. And since I'm smaller, I look in the kids section and I ended up walking out with four pairs of high-waisted jeans for only $10.96 or $11. So these are the things that you're going to need. Scissors, obviously. And what I use to distress is a pumice stone and then you're obviously going to need some old high-waisted jeans. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is just cutting a line. It doesn't matter um, how long the line is, but you just want to cut a line so you get all that excess fabric off. Um, you don't want to cut it too short, short, obviously. Make it pretty long for the first cut. And yeah, so I'm just cutting like that just to get off the unneeded fra fabric for right now. And yeah, you want to cut it kind of straight for the first mark. And then I take a white crayon since it's washable and kind of mark where I want my final length of the shorts to be on each side. And then I cut them where I marked the crayon. And yeah, to get them to match up on each side, I cut one side and then I folded it over and cut the other side so it would be even. And yes, and that is what they look like after they're cut and everything. So make sure you try them on and make sure that they fit. And always make sure you don't cut them too short because you can always shorten them. And then I kind of use my fingers to um, distress the shorts a little bit. And then I take my pumice stone and I'm just running it along the bottoms to kind of distress it a little bit. And yeah. Okay, so when you make your holes, you want to make sure you get the pocket out of the way because you don't want to cut that because you're going to use it later. And then I just pinch the jean. You really don't have to do this, but it's just easier to make your first cut. And then I kind of just, like, make the cut longer. Does that make sense? I don't know. And, yeah, sometimes I do, like, two cuts on top of each other, which I like the way that looks. And, yeah, so I'm just cutting, 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 cutting. It's really interesting, you know? So after I cut, I like to cut a little bit more out of the top. I don't know if that makes any sense. So it's kind of like rounded at the top. I don't know. So it's not just like one straight slit because if you cut a little bit more out the out of the top or the bottom, you're going to be able to see like the you know strings across the um, the jean. If you know what that if, if you know what I mean, once it like gets distressed, it should look like that. And then I use my pumice stone and like use my fingers to kind of just just distress it a little bit and if it doesn't turn out good like right away it's okay because once you put it in the washer and dryer it turns out really really good so yeah and then I'm just making more holes so if you haven't um, like got the hang of it you can just keep watching and I'm sure you will get it so sentimental, you make so Cause I don't wanna miss this kiss Here I am waiting I'll have to leave soon Why am I holding on? We knew this day would come We knew it all along How did it come so fast? This is all I distressing and I'm gonna pop them in the washer and add some soap and whatnot and yeah you know just wash them and then once they're done being washed obviously you want to pop them in the dryer so they're dry and yeah once they're out of the dryer they turn out amazing and I love the way that they look and yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful be sure to send me pictures on Twitter and I will see you in my next video love you guys bye